Welcome to my channel. Today I'm taking you with me on my weekly food shop to Aldi. Not only am I showing you the items I added to my basket, but I'm also doing a straight price comparison between three of the major supermarkets here in Australia, Aldi, Woolworths and Coles. This is very much a video for the people like me that love a one-stop shop. There is no supermarket hopping in today's video. It's solely going to Aldi, picking up every single item we need for the week and I am going to price compare each and every item to the likes of that at Woolworths and Coles. Leave me a comment down below letting me know which you think is going to come in more expensive and let's get shopping. My one stop shop today is Aldi. The Woolworths prices can be found on the left hand side of the screen, Coles on the right and Aldi price smack bang in the middle. First up on my list was bananas. These are $2.99 a kilo. It worked out to be about 50 cents a banana in comparison to 70 cents. The Pink Lady Apples were $3.99 a kilo. Here at Aldi, that worked out to be a dollar each. Over at Coles and Woolworths, I could have got them for slightly cheaper this week. But that is all good. I'm at my one-stop shop. Mushrooms here at Aldi are only $4.99 for 500 grams. They're coming in at $6.50 at Woolworths and Coles at the moment. So that's a saving. And then avocados are only $0.99 cents here. Definitely a lucky week for sure because the price of those bad boys fluctuates a lot, as we all know. Pumpkin here at Aldi is $2.99 a kilo. For the piece I picked up, up, I ended up paying $3.02. For the purposes of the total bill from Woolworths and Coles, I put the per each price in my total. Woolworths definitely didn't make my job easy because they don't put the per kilo price on their website. So I've just done the best job I can when it comes to the total calculation found at the end of today's video. Broccoli was a steal at $2 each. The zucchinis I ended up paying more for here at Aldi this week. The cost of veggies is fluctuating all over the place at the moment. I don't really think it matters where you shop everything just seems so terribly expensive. $5.99 for the iceberg lettuce. When do these bad boys come in season? My good lord, we need the cost of lettuce to go down down. That is for sure. Is that a Woolworths or Coles saying? Down down. Let me know in the comments below. I can't remember which supermarket that saying belongs to. Also, give this video a cheeky thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Celery came in at $4.49, cheaper than both Woolworths and Coles. And I love to see the original price on the cherry tomatoes still here at Aldi. $2.99. They've gone up so much at the other two supermarkets. Worth noting, no matter what supermarket I'm at, I always go for the cheapest option available unless I've tried it in the past and it's no good. 94 cents each for the trust tomatoes. That was a bloomin' steal. The cucumber was $2.99 as per my receipt, of course. And then the brown onions were a little bit more expensive here at Aldi, but for $1.13 for two, I don't think you can go wrong either way with that price. I call this Coomera. You guys, if you're from Australia, will call it sweet potato. I ended up paying $3.49 each for these ones here. And I purposely got like the biggest ones I possibly could do. So I've got the calculations to the side there for both Woolworths and Coles based on the per kilo price. Moving on now to the meat department. The sizzle steak came in at $21.99 a kilo versus $32.50 a kilo at Woolworths as well as Coles. This is an absolute absolute steal, no doubt, in comparison to the other two supermarkets. Of course, the cost of meat is just insane. Bronson and I eat quite a lot of chicken breasts. We only really have red meat once a week and then the rest of the time we have either a vegetarian option or chicken. It's $9.99 a kilo here. Very, very similar over at Woolworths and Coles. There's not much of a price difference when it comes to the old packs between the three supermarkets. Now, I don't usually get sausages, so I spent a bit of time looking through here. We actually recently had a cooked breakfast at an Airbnb we stayed at and that kind of got our taste buds going for these sausages. We never add these to our basket, so I was interested to see the cost over at Woolworths and Coles. I didn't know it off the top of my head because I simply never purchased them, but they're definitely a lot cheaper here at Aldi. Along with the sausages, bacon is also a lot cheaper here. I prefer their streaky bacon. It's really the only bacon that I will eat. 
Uh, yeah, I'm just not keen on the other bacon cuts. In all honesty, Woolworths don't actually have their own brand of the streaky bacon. I always end up going for that maple glazed one whenever I'm shopping there, which comes in at $27.50 a kilo. Coles does have their version of the streaky bacon. It is $25 a kilo. And here at Aldi, it is only $18.45 a kilo. So a huge price difference. But I must say that maple glazed one from Woolworths trumps the taste time and time again. You cannot beat it. It is worth the extra few dollars, no doubt. Coffee comes in at $3.89, which is cheaper than both the other supermarkets. Milk is also a considerable amount cheaper at $1.35 per litre. I go for the full cream. Cheese here is also cheaper. Who would have thought? $5.99 per 500 grams. Both Woolworths and Coles do their home brand version of the tasty shredded cheese, but unfortunately, they do not do a home brand of the pizza. So if you're after a one-stop shop, shopping at either of these supermarkets you would have to go for the name brand which I've done before and it absolutely kills me but that is the style of one-stop shopping. The basil pesto is half the price here at Aldi. Butter is about the same cost across all three of the supermarkets. $5.99 this visit here at Aldi. Last time I was filming as you can see here it was only $5.59. They've put it up which is very sneaky cheeky but everything is just going up and up these days. Protein yogurt is an absolute staple for us. We buy it weekly. This isn't to be confused with Greek yogurt, although it is Greek yogurt. It has a lot more protein. So the comparable item at Woolworths and Coles would be the Chobani. This is on sale this week, which is $5.50, usually a lot more expensive. But here at Aldi, it's always $4.99. No special needed, which is awesome. The orange juice here is an absolute steal at $4.49 for two liters. And then the spring water is the cheapest here at Aldi in comparison to both Woolworths and Coles. Woolworths, once again, does not do their own home brand of 10 liter water. And $8.55 is the price over there. That is absolutely insane. I would never spend that much. But a one-stop shop, the rule is you have to buy it from from there. So uh, yeah, $8, $9, absolute ripoff. I'm just reorganizing my trolley to fit in three of those big water jugs. If you are enjoying today's video and you haven't already hit the thumbs up button, please do. I have spent many hours over the calculator to bring these totals together for you today. And I really do hope you find some value in today's content. I always thought Aldi was cheaper. I wanted to actually just do the investigation for myself. So that's exactly what I have done today, just to put my mind at ease more than anything. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys find that same value. As I keep mentioning, this is a one-stop shop shop. So we're not hunting for the best prices. We're not driving here, there and everywhere. We're just doing a weekly food shop. These big 1.5 liter bottles of water are for 74 a pack. You can actually buy them individually for 79 cents. It seems to be a bit cheaper here. Yeah, not by much though. At Woolworths, you can get it for 4.75. So that's quite comparable on price. We just like having these in our car for when we're out and about and on the road. You never want to be stuck without water. It's just the worst being dehydrated. Now, I've made a major mistake here of putting all this water in towards the beginning of my shop. My back was so incredibly sore after pushing this trolley around. So do not make the same mistake as I did this particular visit. Now these are my favorite biscuits here at Aldi. Oh, these melting moments are divine. I love the salted caramel. While I was here this visit, I realized there's a cheeky, sneaky pink one right at the back, which I've never tried. Packet price at Woolworths and Coles is much more expensive, although they're cheaper per 100 gram. If I had gone to Woolworths or Coles, I would have had to pay the packet price. So I've included the packet price in the totals for today's video, just as a like for like supplement, I guess, if that makes sense. These are so much cheaper here and just as delicious. They're only $2.39. And then these ones are about the same price. They do have the cheaper ones, which are the Audi brand, but they don't taste any good. I've had them before. I just bypass them and go for that name brand in that option. Bronson loves the CC style chips from Aldi. He seems to quite like the taste. And same with the Pringles. I'm not a savory kind of person, so I don't really eat these things. I got those biscuits for myself, of course. I'm a bit of a sweet tooth. This here is only $7.99, a complete bargain in comparison to 
what they're charging over at Woolworths and Coles. Now next on the list is actually a gift for a friend. All of the flavors smell absolutely divine. Only $2.29, a treat for yourself or a treat for a friend. My friend actually asked me where I got it from. That's how much she loved it. And I had to say from Aldi, she was surprised. These here are an absolute deal of a price. You can't get these as cheap at either of the other supermarkets and they're softer in my opinion as well. An absolute bargain of a price on the washing up liquid. It is much cheaper here at Aldi. Now I didn't put the 99 cent bottle of washing up liquid into today's total. I went for the next level up because in all honesty the 99 cent one burns my hands and I would never buy it. Now the spray and wipe is cheaper here at Aldi. There's a few different flavors to choose from. My favorite is the peach and I really need to get into my eco cleaning products um but anyway that is a problem for another day i need to get onto that at some point this will do in the meantime and then the baby whole beetroot is way cheaper here at aldi now this is a very bad habit we buy the pre-cooked rice i know that this is incredibly expensive and just so unnecessary but sometimes time means more than money and they're cheaper here than anywhere else. So it's definitely a bad habit. We are trying to consider not to do this, but oh, at this point in our lives, it's just easier. Now, I never buy baked beans ever, ever, but because of that cooked breakfast we had at the Airbnb, this is to go for our cooked breakfast taste buds. We never buy these kinds of things, but 65 cents, I thought I would try this brand out in the beans as well as the spaghetti, and I must say, they tasted completely fine to me. Not that it's something that I usually eat, but yeah, this brand was fine and I would buy it again. Now, the home brand of pineapple at the other supermarkets doesn't taste any good but the home brand here tastes amazing $1.19. Sun-dried tomatoes are $2.49 here and they're also available of course in the home brands at the other supermarket and then I got two packs of these eggs so essentially 12 eggs hence the 12 egg price from the other supermarkets so that's all factored in to the total. They are organic eggs I only eat organic eggs. <laughs> I'm a little bit precious in that way. The bread at Aldi is so much cheaper I always fall over backwards at the price of the bread here. It is amazing and tastes better than the home brands at the other stores. Like for like, just peanut, peanut butter is way cheaper here at Aldi. This receipt is looking extremely well loved after today's calculations. And luckily for me, my fiance has helped me type all of this into a spreadsheet to make sure it is dead set accurate. Now here at Aldi, the total came in at $208.38. And considering we got our week worth of food along with the extra cooked breakfast supplies that we don't usually get, I thought that this total was pretty good going. Now I've only recently started shopping at Aldi again. I used to shop with them all the time. I lost my way for a while there, but I am so pleased to be back. And the reason I'm about to show you is exactly why. The total at Coles was 259.22 for the exact same shop. Of course, items have been switched depending on brands, but I've always chosen the cheapest option possible unless I know it's not good. And that is a saving of $50.84. Can you believe it? Because I'm actually in shock. I knew Aldi was cheaper for a one-stop shop, but I did not expect Coles to be almost $51 more expensive for like-for-like for like items. I'm honestly lost for words. Woolworths will shock you just as much. Woolies came in at 271 34 Um, excuse me? What is going on here? Let's calculate now. If we remove the total from Aldi, we spent 208 38 That is a saving of $62.96. Um, what? This is almost a full tank of gas. This is a lovely meal out at a restaurant for two. Can you believe this is the total saving? I was expecting Woolies to be more expensive, but not this expensive. Thank you ever so much for watching today's video. I have done comparison items in my totals today. So the packet price 
off the shelf is what has been included in the total rather than per kilo or per grams price. Hopefully that makes sense. I've tried to work this out as accurately as possible. Do leave me a comment down below letting me know which supermarket you shop at and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!